Unlike a lot of goods, like clothing or furniture, electricity can't be made ahead of time, packaged and shipped to retailers. It has to be generated to meet real-time demand. In other words, every time you turn on a light switch, we increase our generating output ever so slightly to deliver the electricity you need. It's a delicate balance between supply and demand, a balance that involves managing a diverse resource mix to produce energy based on a prediction of how much our customers will need at any given time. Not only are we thinking about today's usage, we're also forecasting tomorrow's as well, so we can make investments in generation and distribution based on where we believe energy consumption will be five, 10, even 20 years from now. For example, we anticipate adding nearly 100,000 customers to our service area by the year 2021, bringing with them a 1.6% annual growth in electricity demand. How will we then meet that incremental need in a responsible, environmentally sound manner and at a reasonable cost to our customers? There are really only three ways. We could buy excess electricity on the open market as needed, we could build additional power plants, or we could enact efficiency measures to conserve the resources we have, like implementing system upgrades and improvements, or helping our customers be more efficient with their energy usage. The right answer isn't always clear. So we obtain input from customers, consumer advocates, universities, utility peers, and both state and federal agencies to help us make the most informed decisions possible. Every two years, we develop a plan for the future, a roadmap for meeting customer demand while balancing costs, reliability, and renewable energy requirements. It's a big job, but it's the kind of challenge that, for 125 years now, has shaped the character of our company and led to some of the most innovative thinking in the industry.